Delta reporting a slightly wider than expected loss of 253 a share. You see the operating and the adjusted revenue lines. Cash burn uh, at $12 million a day in the fourth quarter. Ed, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, give me some perspective on how bad it is right now in terms of the revenue environment and overall getting people back in the air right now. Well, thanks, Phil. Good to talk to you uh, this morning. Uh, we are thrilled to close the books on 2020 and put this year behind us. It's been by far the most difficult year in our industry's history, our company's history. Really proud of our people, though. Uh, they fought hard, uh, taking great care of customers and each other you know, through the pandemic and putting us in what I consider to be in a really good position to help lead the industry into recovery as the world acts to contain the virus over the coming year. Uh, demand is slow, uh, as, as you guys were talking about. It's, it's very, very slow, but it's steady, it's steadily improving. Uh, if you think about the year, the second quarter was the peak of the, of the, or the bottom of the, of the revenue decline. We were only at 10 percent of prior year revenues in the second quarter. The third quarter, we are 20 percent. The fourth quarter, excuse me, the fourth quarter we just reported, we're at 30 percent. And we expect the first quarter quarter we're currently in to be about 40 percent. So slow, steady decline, but we are uh, improvements, but we really, really need uh, the vaccine development to move at a much faster pace for us to hit the recovery targets we all want to see. Ed, you're uh, expecting to burn between 10 and 15 million dollars a day in the first quarter and then potentially get to break even by the springtime, end of the second quarter. Are you still optimistic that can happen, that you can turn a profit starting in the second half of this year? I am, Phil. Uh, when you think about where we've come on cash burn in the fourth quarter, our cash burn was $12 million a day. Still a lot of money, uh, but it was half of what it was just in the third quarter, which was $24 million, and only 10 percent of what it was at the beginning of the pandemic, which was $100 million a day. So we still have room to grow uh, in terms of uh, reducing cost and improving revenue. But I think by the time the spring comes, more of the world is going to have confidence in getting back out, not just to travel, but in public life in general. Uh, but it's totally dependent on the deployment and the, of the uh, vaccines and confidence being restored in the, uh, in the public. Back half of the year, uh, as we continue to look for herd immunity, and I, I know uh, Mr. Fink uh, is anticipating that by the summer, we are hoping for that, that same outcome. Uh, we can be profitable, absolutely. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.